cook some ribs tonight in my uh, combination of my Instant Pot or pressure cooker. So I've taken these ribs and I've, I've got a Memphis rub recipe that I use and I've used forever. So I'll post it on there so you'll have it. So all I'm going to do is take these ribs and I'm going to coat them real good with that rub. And then I'm going to put them in the, in the Instant Pot with no liquid whatsoever. And I'm going to set this thing for about 30 minutes. And then once I get it out at 30 minutes, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in my air fryer over here. And I'm going to finish it off with some barbecue sauce. And so we're going to have some uh, barbecue ribs tonight. So it's going to be a short video. We're going to go back to the uh, Instapot. We're going to put the lid on it. We're going to make sure the vent's closed. And we're going to set it for 30 minutes. And we're going to let it go. The ribs out. And you can see this is just 30 minutes. And all I'm doing is just trying to get them tim tender. So I'm going to take them out. By the way, these are beef ribs. These are not pork ribs. I did add about a half of a cup of water in the bottom of that. Maybe next time I might put an onion in there too, but I don't really think it's necessary. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these things and I'm going to coat them with sweet baby rays, sweet bidet onions. So I've got my silicone brush here. I've got this aluminum foil, so what I'm going to do on this to keep from drying out, I'm going to rub these things with that barbecue sauce and I'm going to put them in the air fryer for about maybe 10 minutes at the most and uh, I'll uh, show you what it looks like when I get done with that. Okay I've got my ribs, ribs coated with the barbecue sauce and you can see what they look like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover them up with aluminum foil. I want that moisture to stay in there when I'm doing this. So cover them up the best I can. I may not have got enough aluminum foil but that's about what we're going to do. it up good. We're going to take it and put it in our air fryer for about 10 minutes. And you see I preheated this thing on 400 degrees. We've got this on 400 degrees on uh, 400 degrees up here. Here. I've got it on air fryer setting here. And I've got my timer and I'm going to set it for about 10 minutes. So I'll set the timer. For 10 minutes. 10 minutes may be too much, but that's what we're going to go with anyway. So we got our timer. We'll count her down and I'll be back and show you what it looks like when I get done with it. 10 minutes took these ribs out and you can see, man, they look good. So I'm going to have them with a can of uh, some green, green uh, beans, some slaw, hot slaw. Let me plate these up for you. I'll show you how good they're going to look. Uh, ribs. If I need two or not, we're going to try two. We'll have ribs. And we're going to have green beans. And some bunions. Hot slaw. And a glass of tea. And that's going to be our supper tonight. So, beef ribs, barbecued, and the air fryer, and instant pot or pressure cooker. Talk to you later.